Uh, good day of yours, well, on the 28th this month, um, YouTube, it's going to become Red Tube. <laughs> YouTube Red, which is a um, $10 a month subscription service, kind of like Netflix. You could say the new YouTube is going to be like Netflix in a way. You have to pay $10 a month subscription fees to watch YouTube videos. Now, if you're a creator like me, it's alright, but... I know people are just getting started and they want to love my videos and I'll show other people too like right back in 2007 and all those users countless amounts of us who um, love our audiences and I'm really worried they're going to lose our viewing audience because of this paid subscription thing no one really wants to do now come on why the hell would YouTube be calling it or Google call it YouTube Red? I mean, seriously, that's almost a direct reference to the pornographic website, RedTube. That's just, uh, oh, that's Google's, they didn't know it too, but this must be just Google's sense of humour. They'd be calling it RedTube before I bloody know it, and they'd be getting copyright paintings over the pornographic website, RedTube. So, yeah. Let's try to compete with Apple and everything. Google Play is all that going to be part of all the music stuff. Like Viva, all the major copyright holders like CBS, Sony Music, Warner Brothers Music, they're all going to be um, happy about it because they get their um, stuff paid for on YouTube. You subscribe, pay the $10 a month bloody subscription. This is in America, it's $10 a month. There might be more here. And if you want your phone to get more, if you're doing it via Apple or Google and try to be taxes extra on top of that, you have to pay depending on where in the world you are. So, in America, it's ten dollars a month, but other parts of the world it might get dear or cheaper if there's other taxes involved. So yeah, I think I'm on Daily Motion as well. I can't remember though. I joined that website quite a long time ago, shortly after Raymond when Eka 2007 joined it. But um, I haven't posted anything like that yet. So. That's kind of like YouTube in a way. You can have, um, there is ad revenue ability on that too. Anyway, this is a little land over. This is my um, next device to test. It's a lattice and guy. I time switch this one. 240 volt, 30 amp. KYB, run Z30.1, 50 cycles per second. That's, uh, I can see it's not a rate changer, I don't think. I am just assume they're all rate changes, but I don't think so, because all it does is it changes from the night tariff to the um, day tariff, so I'm assuming most of these are rate changes. Rain, Beanbox Lux keeps asking me, but... Green on, blue off, so it just... that's all it's got. It's just an ordinary time switch. I'm sure the Astro one I've got is a, a rate changer one, because that's the only one of its kind that I've got. That really, that the uh, medic I could find as well. So that's why I up this device and test it. Device is powered up. I should say quiet. All the screws are intact. Now it's not good to run them on it back as rain being boxed and like suggested. For short periods of time, it's okay for little test purposes, but any length of time, hang them up like this so the bearings in there. No, um, bearings don't get worn out. It's on 2.30, at night. And it's exactly 60 seconds on that minute by the looks of it. Okay, it's this way. The top of going to turn very slowly being the clock, so don't turn, expect to turn fast. Yeah. So I don't think I have much rate changes at all, any of my time switches at this stage. I think my digital ones might be though. I'll have to double check. But I just did a regular on and off there, like this one. So I don't think that's their rate changes either. Initially I thought the rate changer was this, on off, on off, on off. But apparently no, it's something different. Yeah, the 60, the 60 mark is moving. 60 minutes and 30 seconds. Working very well, this device. Let it run for a bit so it winds itself up. I'm not going to cut the seals of one of that manually. Let the uh, motor do that. Look at that. Cut you. Yeah, it's very sharp. 
Hunt that guy for a little while. Get some uh, windage going on. It's a good thing I'm getting time switches and nearly virtually all my scores I've gotten analog time switches. They're getting harder to find, but it's a good thing I'm getting more of them. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.